Okay, Iranian looks. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sami Sampi and today we're going to, to look into the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15, Rainian Lou. So at first glance, I'm looking at the picture of the ladies with Andy and it seems like everybody is wearing all shade of blue. Well, I would say light blue. I wish some of them wore some like maybe like royal blue or something like that, but they're all wearing some shade of blue. They, that kind of reminded me of the outfit that Dr. Wendy wore for the Real Housewives of Potomac, Rainian, color-wise. First glance, the picture, they're all looking beautiful. Face card, usually they do really well. And just at first glance like that, I must say they're all looking beautiful. So let, now let's look at each of them in detail. Miss Candy Burris, I think she is looking beautiful. The hair is giving, I really like the bob on her. It has a little bit of blonde, a makeup I love. This is usually the type of makeup that I like to go for, which is very like natural. And the dress is beautiful. I love the crisscross. A body is giving, love the dress. I love the dress. I love the accessories too. I like the blue in the middle. I like the fact that the dress is uh, midi, so it's not like flower length and all that. She probably wanted to be comfortable. And I also like the shoes. Apparently the dress is from Matopeda Atelier. I love Matopeda Atelier. For those of you that don't know, Matopeda Atelier is a Nigerian designer. She is known to do very, very nice gown. So I love that. I love that Candy went with the black owned, African owned designer. Very, very proud. I like the dress personally. I didn't feel like she took a big risk. It was pretty safe. Let's be real. It was safe, but I like it. I'll give Candy a 9 out of 10, honestly. I'm not giving her a 10 out of 10 just because I felt like she could have taken a bigger risk. Next, we have Miss Marlo Hampton. Marlo Hampton is looking good. The hair is okay. I'm not super impressed with the hair. Okay. I like the makeup. Marlo looks like she lost weight. What do I think of the dress? Uh, I don't like the dress, y'all. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the fact that she took a risk, though. Like, she didn't go for the usual big gown that the ladies are doing. Uh, but I don't know if I really like it. It seems that for, it, for her to give it a shape, she has, like, to carry a part of it you know and i'm wondering if she's doing this because it's too a line um i would like to see the dress maybe when she's walking through i guess we're going to see a little bit more during the rainian whenever we're going to see them walking and all that um the color is nice the ruffles i mean the quality the dress quality is really nice right quality wise i'm sure it's haute couture let's leave with the designer the designer is uh, George Obeka, I'm not familiar with him. Personally, I would say that this is not the best that I've seen of Marlo. Uh, for the Rainian, I'll give her a 5 out of 10. Miss Kenya more. Okay, Miss Kenya. Okay, Kenya. I don't like the blonde on Kenya. Hmm, I don't really like the hair. I'm not going to lie. I think it's the color. I don't really like the color on Kenya. I like Kenya with like jet black just because she has such a beautiful brown chocolate skin i think that jet black hair fits her better so i don't really like the blonde hair i love the makeup i think her makeup is really really nice she looks like she lost weight too actually let's go into the dress i don't like the dress y'all i don't like it i don't like it at all when you look at it more into detail there's two shades of blue uh it's turquoise like the little hair that she has is turquoise I do not like those hair on her. Um, on like, I do not like the look. I I don't like it. Yeah, it's giving gown. It's giving, you know, expensive. Definitely, the stylist name is Vardrin Saiti. I'll give Kenya a six out of ten, just like I did Marlo. Courtney, Courtney done got to the reunion, y'all. That hard work done work out for her, and she made it there. Look into Miss Courtney. Face is great. I think Courtney looks good. She actually looks like younger than when she was on the show. I feel like the makeup they did an extremely good job. Like her face looked younger. I like the hair. She went pretty simple, but I'm not mad at her, especially that her dress is like giving a lot. 
and look into the dress. A dress designer name is Albina Dilla. I like the dress. I like the dress on Courtney. It's her first time going through the Rainian. I'll give Courtney an 8 out of 10. Sanya Richard Wow. Okay, first of all, I want to say that I love the wig on Sanya. That wig is looking beautiful. The hair, the makeup is 10 out of 10. All the ladies' makeup is quite similar. They all went for like that bridal natural look which I like. Anya's dress, honestly, is the worst. I'm not going to lie. I like it because she's pregnant. Like, what makes it cute is the baby bump. Congratulations to Sanya. The baby bump is definitely making the dress look beautiful. Outside of that, I felt like she, was re she went really safe. Just because she's pregnant, I'm going to give her a 5 out of 10. Like, I'm adding one point. But I, I didn't personally like the dress. Let me all know what you think. Monera, Monera, Monera. Monera made it to the Rainian 2. Even, you know, she did a little bit more than the previous season. So, yeah, she was there. Monera's hair is okay. You know, it's cute. You know, the makeup. I like the makeup too. She went for the natural bridal look. And then let's look into the look. Okay, so she went for like a corset with pants. And I'm not going to lie, I like the corset, but I feel like it's a Rainian and you, you could give a little bit more than that. So the outfit is not bad, but Rainian wise, that's when the girls are coming to, you know, give. And I feel that she got a little lazy, like it started okay on top, then the, the, the corset is really nice and then the pants, I don't really like them. All together, I'm going to give Monera a 4 out of 10. As in, I don't like the entire look. I feel like she could have done better. Um, it's not because she's wearing a pants. Because we last month of New Jersey, Rainian, Teresa was wearing like a, it was pants, really. And it looked great. So it's not because she's wearing pants. It's just the, the entire look in itself. I'm not a fan. Next, Drew Sidora. Okay, Drew. Drew came in blonde. I like the blonde on Drew. I think it looks good. A uh, makeup, I like. It's a little strong around the nose, but we still recognize her. So yeah, she looks good. Dress-wise. Okay, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of sequin, and the dress looks like it's really heavy. <laughs> it looks really, really heavy. I like the color of the dress, but I don't like what she tried to do. Um, I think she's like a two-piece and it looks just heavy and the sequin i don't like it i don't like it i'll give drew a four out of ten next we have sheree whitfield okay sheree sheree is wearing you know a ponytail and i don't like the ponytail <laughs> i like the blonde i think that blonde fits sheree i just don't like the ponytail i think that the two color ponytail is not working for her because we can really see how her hair is black and then the ponytail is blonde and i think that it's really clashing i'm not really a fan of the ponytail makeup her makeup is really really nice all the surgery that she's done is actually working well with the makeup job on that and the dress i love the dress i love the dress on sheree um i think that she could have done maybe a little necklace like it, it wouldn't have been too bad if she had like a nice necklace but her not having it it's okay because she's obviously going for very simple i love the color of the dress i like the material of the dress love the corset because it's really gonna give her like that hourglass shape i like it i like her look i'd say i feel like if she had different the hair was different i think it would have looked better but I do like the look. I really like that bracelet. I feel like she forgot to remove it. That was supposed to go with another outfit. Let me all know what you think of that. But in general, I do like uh, Sheree's look. The designer of the dress is Sergio Hudson. I really, really like it. It's giving simple, natural, but still the woo-ha effect. I love it. I know her body was given in it. But I feel like she could have done it a little bit more when it comes to the accessories and the hair. So because of that, I'm going to give Sheree a 7 out of 10. See y'all, that was my rating for the Villa Suave of Atlanta Reunion 15, season 15. Let me all know who you think was the best. All together, if I had to choose who I thought was my number one, I would have gone with Candy. I like Candy look the most. I would have 
want to wear something like what Candy wore, but I also really like Sherry's dress. I'm not going to lie. So that's it, y'all. Let me all know what you think in the comment. For those of you that are new, hey, welcome. And I invite you to, you know, and for those of you that have been here with me, supporting me, thank you all so much. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.